rooms an hour of daylight. <laughs>
No, really. Tell the king he can send me. Hello? Knock, knock. Who's there? Goliath. Goliath who? Goliath down in a field and watch your sheep. He's right, kid. Nobody's going to tell the king a harebrained idea like that. Why not? Look at you. Goliath's nine feet tall. You're small enough to pose for trophies. <laughs> You're so little, you gotta use a ladder to lace up your sandals. <laughs> You're so short, you gotta cut up your underwear. <laughs> hey, leave him alone. At least he has the courage to speak up. Who are you? I'm a friend. Ooh, I'm afraid. <laughs> Don't you know that's the king's daughter? Princess Michael? Like I said, I'm afraid I haven't made your acquaintance. Oh, Shalom, beautiful princess, fairest of all women, your nose like a cedar of Lebanon, your lips like a pomegranate cut open, your neck oh, like please. a... Please, please, try not to grovel on my toenails. <laughs> so sorry, your highness, I had no idea. Somehow I'm not surprised. <laughs> Michael, what are you doing? I'm sticking up for you. So listen up, all you great big heroes. I know you think David's a joke, but you don't know him like I do. When my father's having one of his temper tantrums, David's the only one who can calm down. Everybody else runs off. But David, David stays and plays music. Please, Michael, you don't have to defend me. I want to. That's what friends are for. So next time you're running scared, look around and see still standing tall. You might be surprised. Are you okay? I don't know. That was kind of embarrassing. Hey, if your friends can't say good things about you, who can? I guess so. Besides, you do the same for me. Well, come on, you know you would. Yeah, I guess you're right. So maybe next time you'll be there for me. This is just my turn. Thanks. Don't mention it. So you don't think I'm crazy? You're standing up for God, right? Yeah. Well then, crazy or not, I'm right here with you. I'll stand with you, you'll stand with me, we'll stand for God, for all to see, stand straight and hold.
I need somebody to tell the Goliath, tell the king, I'm ready to fight Goliath. Are you sure? I am now. I tell myself, but I don't think he'd listen. Don't worry, I'll do it.
God save me from lions and bears. I know he can save me from a Philistine. What do you say, Michael? Do you believe this boy? I'm afraid for him, Father, but I know God's with him. Okay, David, I'll let you go. Under one condition. What? You have to wear my armor to protect yourself. Just because God's on your side doesn't mean you can use a little extra insurance. Commander! Yes, sir? Get this shepherd ready for battle. Bring out the king's armor. And if this doesn't work, I'm going to be so mad, I'll chew on a spearhead and spit needles. <laughs> Breastplate. Shin guard. Shoulder piece. Thigh brace. Foot mantle. <laughs> arm band. Knee plate. Elbow cap. Wrist cover. Neck sheet. Face lock. Helmet. Shield.
take one from a shepherd. Thanks for keeping watch, David. And one from my king. Stand up. You have a job to do. Yes, Your Highness. Are you sure you don't want that armor? No, just one more stone. This one, I choose in the name of Yahweh, who is our friend, our family, our shepherd, and our king.
So, you want to fight me, little boy? I come so the whole world will know there is a God in Israel. There is a God, all right. His name is Beelzebub, God of the Philistines. And by Beelzebub, I'll hack you to pieces and feed you to the birds. You defy my God, but today the Lord will deliver you into my hand. What? Would that stick? You think I'm a dog? You gonna play fetch with me? You carry a spear, but I come in the name of Lord of Hosts. Curse you, you little maggot. You're Jack Not this day. This day, the battle is the Lord's. <laughs>